little treat today on the homestead. I have some of my best friends, Amy and Arun, here to cook Indian chicken curry from one of our Cornish crosses that we butchered. So I'm really excited to share this experience with y'all. Arun is here cutting the chicken up into pieces. And then are you gonna grill it, Arun? Yeah, I'm gonna put this in a, some bunch of spice together. Okay. Mix together and like marinate maybe 20 minutes. Nice. If you do like overnight, mm -hmm. that will be great. But if you don't have time, it's not have to. We can just uh, like marinate 20 minutes and 25 minutes, then you can put it in the grill. Nice. And Amy is, she's already chopped up the tomatoes and she's moved on to the garlic. <laughs> now we're gonna get the spices ready for the marinade. Four teaspoons. Four teaspoons yeah. of coriander. Yeah, and just put like uh, two teaspoon of garam masala. Okay. This is garam masala. Two teaspoons garam masala. Yeah, and... Uh, One teaspoon of turmeric. Yeah, this is just for marinade. Come. Yeah. So chili powder, you can do according to your taste. So I'm gonna put like... Uh, one teaspoon for now. Okay. And then we'll we can see later. And salt for taste. Okay. So a couple of teaspoons of salt. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put some. Uh, so that's lime. Yeah, lime. Okay. Like, I'm gonna put the one whole lime. Okay. And this and uh, this give you like very good like when you grill chicken it give you good flavor also like it's cooked well also. Okay. Sometimes we can use uh, yogurt also because here we have dairy free people. Ah, uh, okay. So that's why I don't use uh, yogurt. Okay. Otherwise I can use so we could use yogurt yeah, if we wanted. So that gave you like good, more like better flavor. Okay. Uh, a little bit like uh, two teaspoons of olive oil. I'm okay. Gonna put, like, two teaspoons of olive oil. Yeah. I'm just gonna put. Now. I have to work hard with my hand. <laughs> okay. Mix really well. Yeah. And is it thundering? So I'm gonna keep this 20 minutes. Just, you can put in the refrigerator. But if you have like temperatures, okay, you can keep outside, no problem. Okay. So now I'm gonna heat this pan. So I'm preparing sauce while our chicken is marinating. Okay. So if you use butter, that's great because the flavor is with butter is so good. Yeah. But because the dairy free here. Yeah. So we don't use butter, but either any oil you can use like if you have mustard oil, that's very mustard good. oil. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's good, but olive oil, no problem. I always go with olive oil. So okay. I'm gonna put like a two tablespoon, but I'm just gonna put uh, a little bit. Yeah, fit my idea. So you just put like two tablespoon of olive oil because we're gonna make some sauce. So this is this sauce is for the chicken curry. The chicken. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this time I'm gonna use like a little bit like uh, whole spices. Okay. So these are the cloves, cinnamon, like uh, cardamom. Okay. And black pepper and so because this has like so much flavor because once you make powder, so you if you write out a fresh, it's good. Fresh flavor. Very fresh yeah. flavor. Yeah. So okay. I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna put like a clove, like just two clove. Okay. Because clove have so much flavor, so don't put more than two. Otherwise, okay. like <laughs> it's gonna ruin your flavor. So two cloves. If you don't have clove, you can still use uh, other spice. I'm gonna show you, but you don't have to have like if you don't have this like okay. also optional and a little bit of cumin seed, like uh, see. Uh, about a half a teaspoon maybe? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I never had like this black pepper at home, so I don't use, but now I see this hair <laughs> you have here. So I'm gonna use this uh, little bit of black pepper, so like this whole... I'm gonna use like maybe like around 10. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna use like a two cardamom. Like just kind of like a break it. And then kind of like, kind of, like open it. You know? Okay. Yeah. I'm putting the oil and it well, like... I need like one whole onion, okay. like uh, okay. this size. Okay. I have no idea. Like, uh, this size. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put here. <laughs> Cook onion till get a little bit like little brown, not too okay. brown. Otherwise, it's gonna get burnt. Okay. But you have to keep checking. Maybe I can feel like. Cook for 
seven minutes. Here's the rest of the onion. Yeah, here's the rest of the onion. Uh, also, uh, so these are uh, ginger and garlic. So I use uh, like half inch of ginger. Okay. And five cloves of garlic. Okay. So uh, I prefer everything fresh to give you a good flavor. Like five minutes, you're gonna cook this and then you're gonna go for the next. So I'm gonna put some spices. So this is a coriander. So like, like three mm -hmm. teaspoons. Three teaspoons. Yeah. Like a half teaspoon of turmeric. Okay. So chili powder, I'm not gonna put so much, I'm gonna put a little bit, like because we already marinate chicken with uh, okay. chili powder. Okay. So this is like a uh, half, not even half, like less than half teaspoon. Then we can check later, we can taste and we can add later. Okay. And salt for taste, maybe like I'm gonna put maybe like a uh, kind of like, like uh, one and a half teaspoon. So it looks so dry, so I'm gonna put chopped. Uh, so these are the chopped tomatoes. So okay. it's gonna be like a gravy, like more tomato gravy. Okay. So these are the like uh, five tomatoes. You have to do. All right. Five wine tomatoes. You can use Roma. Also, I usually use, use Roma tomato. Roma is like seven. Okay. But they are the small, so these okay. are. Yeah, and now you have to cook it like maybe around like 15, 15 minutes. Okay. All right, so Rune is stirring it up and it's looking really good. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna cook. Maybe we need, I want like uh, this tomato like to break down. Yeah, yeah, break down a little bit soft. Okay. Then we can put in the blender. All right. The nice. Yeah, it's done. The sauce. So, so, so I'm gonna keep this little bit like here, and while I'm gonna grill the chicken, okay. Because it's gonna get like uh, cool. When it's cooled down, then I'm gonna put this in a food processor. Okay. Or blender. Okay. To make a paste. Nice. Now Arun is gonna grill the chicken. I get to hijack Rebecca's channel here for a second. Look, Arun's getting this ready. Any special tips? Or way you cook this meat on this grill? Uh, yeah, like special means. Uh, so this is the bone with the bone. Okay. So I'm just gonna put in the grill, like, and I have to see, like, flip over also and check yeah. if it's done or not. So it's I'm got the gonna, bone in it. Yeah. Okay. I'm how? I'm gonna cook this so much because we're gonna after that we're gonna put this in the paste, so the paste gonna cook also a little bit. So. Okay. So you're not gonna cook it all the way through. Yeah. So, but I'm gonna. Because we are like dairy free here, so otherwise you can put like butter on it when it's okay. while you're cooking. So you can like put butter mm. a little bit. But in, beside of butter, we can use uh, olive oil. So all the spices there. And while you're cooking, you can just with a knife, you can just cut it like we will make like. Uh, then it will cook better, like you know. Oh, okay. Inside also. Yeah. So you, he's saying you can cut it open if you want it to cook a little bit quicker. All right, so Rune is now gonna make his sauce. He's putting the the tomato, onion, garlic mixture into the food processor. into a food processor or blender. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use same pot. Okay. So I'm gonna hit this pot and put all this uh, base sauce. We just made it. So, so you don't want to waste all this. Just put a little bit of water and pour it there. Okay. Yeah. Because this has so much flavor. Here is the chicken and oh my goodness, it looks amazing. Dry vinegar, a little bit like uh, maybe two pinch. Just like a two pinch. We drove for Okay. Alright. And this is, this is, um, you can, I think yeah, you can so get here, yeah. but I don't know if you... Some this is store. actually fr um, dried fenugreek leaves instead of the seeds. And you just added a couple in there. Mmm, so good. Yeah, this is gonna smell... Oh, this is like for flavors, it's gonna give you like so much flavor. If you don't have, don't worry, you don't have to. And when you're cooking, so if you have a like, if you're dairy, you take dairy so you can put a little bit of yogurt in this space. It will be like give you more like better like this. But this is also good. No problem. Okay. 
Or you can add coconut cream also if you want. Like uh, this many with the Indian with Indian spices, like kind of stir fry, Indian stir fry. So what's that onion? Huh? That's onion in it already. Yeah. Are you putting more onion? Yeah, I'm, because I just put already half. So okay. now we just came, so I'm just putting okay. all of this. The rest so it's of like it. a half onion. Okay. Half chopped onion and half sweet. a teaspoon of cumin seed and some or you could use powder and then you put in your onion and about a half an onion and let that cook for a little bit all right now he's gonna add the chicken to so the like sauce I, I cook this sauce maybe around like a, like a, in a sim like okay. maybe like 15 to 20 minutes okay so now i'm gonna put the chicken here then i'm gonna cook chicken like uh, like a 20 more minutes okay. and I will see like after like 15 minutes I will see if uh, I need some water to add because depend how much gravy you want okay so, and while you're cooking you can even taste after that like five minutes you can taste how much you need more salt and more like chili powder okay so you can add also anything nice. Or if you see some flavor is lacking you can add some spices also okay it's not too late this looks so good I am so excited this is like one of my favorite dishes so now I'm gonna put some garlic because onion, see onion looks a little bit brown. Okay. You don't let uh, onion get burned. You have to keep watching because otherwise tail is, oil is not much and it, just, it can, might burn also. Okay. So you have to put the same. So now I'm putting this garlic like and after five minutes I'm gonna put like a... The tomatoes. Yeah, this okay. is like a one whole tomato and there's a three cloves of garlic. <laughs> So now you're gonna cook this a little bit, like uh, seven minutes. So I'm gonna add some water because uh, see, because the chicken is like pretty thick. So I'm just gonna add like uh, one cup of water. So I'm using this pan because it has already like uh, what chicken the was there. Spices, okay. So this has like some. So I'm just gonna add like one cup for now. And if we need later more, like more gravy, you can add more. But don't put too much water, otherwise gravy gonna be like so watery. Yeah. You want like some good flavor also. Add some spices in this. Mm. So, this water is cooking. So I'm gonna put like a little bit of uh, chili powder. Half teaspoon chili powder. Okay. Because you don't want this in the curry, so you don't want so much here. Like, yeah. Like salt, maybe like a... Uh, one teaspoon. Okay. Then you can taste later and see if you need add more. Yeah. So we'll see like maybe after five minutes. So this is zucchini from our garden and we're gonna make an Indian dish with to go with it. Yeah, so this is like Indian stir fry you can say. So I'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric powder to give like a more Indian flavor. Okay. So like a half okay, teaspoon. Maybe not like less than half because you don't want so otherwise it's gonna go so yellowy. Sometimes you can tell uh, by smell if it's spices is okay. Sometimes you know you can smell raw spices. Okay. And when you see like you uh, smelling like spices flavor good. So you can add. So I'm gonna add this. And... But one thing well, while you're cooking Indian food you should open your windows. Why? I think it smells so good. Yeah, because I don't know some people they don't like. Well, those people are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I won't cover because if I cover it's gonna get like so like wet. wet. Yeah. So I don't want that wet one. So I just wanna leave this like this and cooking this. Okay. A little bit. Uh, All right, we'll check on this in a moment. Yeah. So see, so it's cooking. So now I'm gonna add. Uh, yeah, seven ounces of uh, tomato sauce. Okay. Or paste. Okay. Because this will give you some good like uh, gravy. So don't waste anything. Put some water in it and like take it out. Okay. Everything. Okay, I'm over here stirring up the zucchini. Such good zucchini. All from our garden. It's pretty exciting. It's from your garden. Yeah, the zucchini's from our garden. I wish we had tomatoes for this, but. Yeah, so I so now see it's clean so you got everything yep. you're not wasting anything that's yeah. how i do yeah. all right i'm gonna stir that up pretty excited about <laughs> using our chicken 
differently than we normally do. Now we're making one of my favorite parts of Indian food, raita. Right, raita. Yes, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Raita. So Amy is shredding the cucumber. Cucumber we grew in our garden. I'm gonna add like a half teaspoon, so I'm gonna take like a one teaspoon of honey. Okay. Just give you a little like good taste in your chicken. Uh, Use like a raw honey. Yeah. And then after that, I'm gonna add. So I just uh, I just turn this off. It's okay. done. So I'm gonna add some uh, cilantro. If someone they don't like cilantro, they don't have to put. Okay. It's good if you put like a. So good. Yeah, and I'm gonna put like a bunch of cilantro, and I'm gonna put some here. This is also done. Okay. So I'm gonna turn this off because we don't want this to be cooked so much. I'm uh, making a Indian uh, dessert. It's, uh, it's like a rice pudding. We call kheer. Okay. K h e e r. The kheer. I'm making kheer. So first, I'm just heating some uh, olive oil. Okay. Actually, it's with the ghee. I don't know if you know ghee. Ghee. Yeah. If you add like one teaspoon ghee instead of oil, it give you more flavor because of dairy free. Okay. So I'm not using. I'm just using oil, but it's fine. Okay. So when this still get like a. Little bit hot, some half teaspoon or two pinch of cardamom powder. Like two pinch, like small, two small pieces of cinnamon. Okay. Just for have like some flavor. All right. Just give you like flavor and one cup of uh, water. I'm gonna use like a four cup of milk. So. Four cups of milk. So I need to like uh, boil when it started boil. Okay. Here I'm soaking some uh, rice. So I soaked it like um, you can soak like in a uh, 30 minutes. Okay. And then put in the blender. So you just put enough water over the rice. Yeah, just enough water. Just enough to yeah, soak it. So why I'm like uh, putting the blender because otherwise like rice, you know how rice grows so much, so it's yeah. gonna be lit. So you, you don't want to eat like a kind of uh, you eating rice again. Yeah, you, because you don't want to do so much, it's gonna okay. make like a milk. Okay. Yeah. Just crushing the rice basically. Okay. For raita, I'm just stirring this pan. When this pan is hot, I just put one teaspoon of oil. And this is a cumin powder, so like a le half teaspoon cumin powder just put. Yeah. And this give you like good, like authentic raita flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit. Yeah. And yeah. And you're frying this to put in the right thing? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna put it in. I just need a spoon. Yeah, and you don't, you're not gonna like burn this, have to like very like low. When okay. it's once pans is hot, put in the low because you're not gonna burn this, otherwise it's gonna not gonna good less smell. So now here's the shredded cucumber. Yeah. So I'm gonna add this here. Okay. And Stir that in. Yeah, I'm gonna take this here, get all this. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add a yogurt. Okay. And salt. Yogurt and salt. Yum yum. So it depends how much raita you're making. So because we are making like pretty good amount of raita. So it's one of my favorites. Let's see. And my kids really like it too. So you can see according to your like uh, how much you have yeah. and you can make. You just put in the yogurt to kind of make a nice sauce with it. Yeah. I've actually never made ra raita mm -hmm. with shredded cucumber. I always just dice it. Mm -hmm. This is like a, like a proper raita. Now you're going to add some... <laughs> now you're going to add like uh, right. salt. Like a... Uh, Okay. Just like I'm adding a little bit, and you. Can, I always add a lot yeah. of salt. So I can like I'm just gonna taste. First. So this is proper raita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unlike my raw raita, that's not proper. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, coriander. 
Okay. Oh, and a little bit of cilantro. Yeah, cilantro. So it will give us some good flavory kick. So. No, I like it in there. I think I always add cilantro. Yeah, so. Do I mix it in? Yeah, you can make milk is like start a boil. So I'm like using very slow because it has like oil. So there's another way you can cook. You don't have to put any spices there. Okay. Only just put like uh, cardamom okay. and milk and all boil together. Okay. You don't have to fry. Don't put oil. Okay. Because maybe if you try at home, so maybe you might get like, you know, milk bad. So just okay. do that. So when this milk starts boil, just add this rice. Okay. Yeah. So Sorry. Then, okay. Yeah. So then you just let that sit. Yeah. Now it's gonna like a boil. So it's gonna. So you have to keep checking because milk will come up. So you have to keep stirring. Oh, okay. So maybe stick a little bit uh, like time. Like we we're talking about uh, dairy free. So okay. the, here is also is going on. It's a dairy free here with uh, coconut milk. Okay. I'm cooking. Same it. thing. Yeah. Same thing, but just dairy coconut. free. Yeah. For Ames. So we're also going to make an authentic Indian drink called fresh lime soda to go with dinner. So now I'm going to make a fresh lime soda. Okay. After you drink this, you feel really fresh. So, <laughs> so for this, I'm going to prepare. So these are the cups. So I'm going to add honey. You can use sugar syrup. Usually we use sugar, sugar syrup, but sugar like syrup. sugar, you know, is not so good for your health. Yeah. So better to use the honey instead of sugar syrup. So you can always add how much you want. So I'm just adding one. A little bit. Yeah. We don't want it too sweet for the kiddos. Yeah. So uh, so I'm gonna use like fresh uh, lime. Okay. So I just cut in the half. So I'm just gonna put like you can put. Don't put so much in the beginning. Like see, because lemon is pretty. You can add always add more. Yeah. It's up to your taste. Like how. Just add a little bit of lime. Yeah. First. Always wash your hand before you do this. Yes, wash your hands. <laughs> so these are the what you call seltzer. It's and seltzer it's like, water. It's like our club like, soda. Yeah, club soda. Thanks. So now I'm gonna make this. So while it for you can see freshness. So. And you can add actually if you can find like ginger juice like. Fresh ginger Just juice. fresh ginger juice. I think because you have, I think it's I'll try it. You can try and see. So I'm gonna test the fresh lime soda. Maybe a little bit more honey. Yeah. It's like so much, and in, if you go out in the restaurant, we use ice. You get this at the restaurants? Yes, in India restaurant you can get. This. Nice. We always, this is like favorite drink. Mostly in the summer. So now we're ready to eat. So we don't use sugar. Okay. So you know sugar always is not so good. You can add sugar, just like people use sugar okay. in India. But I'm gonna use the dates, or you can use the uh, fresh dates also. Okay. And but see if you can like make a small pieces. So you can like put some, and later you can just taste how sweet it is. If okay. you want, you can add like more. I use just a little bit of yeah. coconut in there. Shredded coconut. This give it like good taste too. Nice. Well, you can use a raisin and you can use some like a cashew because I didn't use a sweetness first because otherwise rice will take longer time to cook. Okay. Yeah. So now like you just need to like boil let it, one or let one, it cook yeah. down. like maybe 10 more minutes. Okay. It's almost done. Do you oh. want more? Oh boy, Jonah has already <laughs> finished his plate. Here is the kheer. Is it kheer? Kheer. Dessert, and we're gonna go eat it outside because it's nice and cool. Mm. 